But calling up the translator to Congress in public or even in private, it, it would be an extraordinary move. And Lindsey Graham, yes, uh, Lindsey Graham was, was speaking to reporters, and he makes the case that he says it would set a horrible, horrible precedent doing so, impacting future presidents and their ability to talk candidly with foreign leaders. Do you see that? Well, the president can invoke executive privilege. He's a, he has every right to do that under the, the powers of the executive branch of government. Then he should come forth and tell us what, are the, what those agreements are. Why are we learning from the Russians what the agreements are? Does that make any sense whatsoever? I don't think so. Not to me and a lot of other people. Senator Sheehan in the Senate, uh, Congressman Joe K uh, Kennedy in the House agree with me. Others have agreed with me and spoken out. And I think if you get Republicans one-on-one, -on -one, many of them would agree also. We need Dude. to know what those agreements were that we learned about generally from Mr. Putin. Well, do you leave open the possibility that there were no agreements that were reached and that's just Putin being Putin and Russia lying? Well, uh, there's been a lot of lying going on uh, in the last seven days to the American people eventually and we need a reckoning here. We cannot have a fallback after every time we disclose what really happened or we were misunderstood. Sometimes we use the wrong words. This is not the case in this situation. We knew what to expect. And that is why, Kate, I read into, began to read into the record on Thursday night of last week what the dossier actually did say, 84% of which has been proven credible. I think that Steele dossier is very pertinent to not only Mueller's investigation, but to what we're doing this week in discussion. Can I mention one other thing when I was in Berlin the last time? Yeah. The first thing I wanted to do is go to the East Germany, East Berlin. And the reason I wanted to go to East Berlin, I wanted to see the place where the KGB operated how they got their information in the rooms that they worked in and on the citizens that they worked on. We're dealing here with a very serious situation. These are extraordinary times. Asking for the translator to come forth is extraordinary. But let me tell you, that experience that I had in that building where Vladimir Putin operated in East Berlin is enough for me to understand how all of these people operate. He's a KGB, former KGB, and we need to keep this in mind. And I think the president's been had. American people haven't been had. The president has been had.